This tutorial is going to show you how to bring images to use as background uh, references from Adobe Photoshop CS6 into Autodesk Alias Design 2013. What I'm going to do to get started is I'm going to go over to Photoshop and I'm going to select an image or create an image and scan it in of some orthographic views of a product. In this case it's an Audi TT and uh, we've got uh, four views. We've got a front view, back view, side view, and top view. Um, I've already done a little bit of work here where I've grabbed each of the images, image parts with the rectangular marquee tool and separated them out into individual files. So there's my front view, there's my side view, and here's my top view. Additionally, I rotated my top view using the edit, uh, image menu, image rotation, and chosen the 90 degree counterclockwise rotation in order to get it in the proper uh, orientation for my, my use. What I want to do first is I select the viewport to start with, go to image, and then choose image size, and then write down these figures. Uh, I'd suggest you get out a pencil and paper uh, and write down uh, the width which in this case is 272 pixels. Uh, also write down the height, which in case, this case is 238 pixels. And then write down the resolution. In this case, that's 72 pixels uh, per inch, also sometimes referred to as 72 DPI dots per inch. All right. Then go over into Alias. Go to the top of your uh, program and choose the Canvas menu. From the Canvas menu, choose the New Canvas option. And then in this viewport, you need to make sure you have a couple of things set up. First of all, the Canvas name, it's a good idea to make sure you name these. So change the name from uh, whatever it starts with to Front. Hit Enter to save that. Uh, the orientation tells you what viewport it's going to place this in. Uh, in this case, I'm starting with a front view of my car. And uh, that means seems to indicate that it'll make the most sense if I place that into the left viewport in Alias. So go to Orientation and choose uh, Left, not Front, because the, we're not seeing a front view, we're seeing the left view. Then, down here, skip the rest of that stuff, that's fine, the default settings. Where it says Paper Size, click and choose Custom from the options. Then change your unit to Inches, because we're placing these documents in here in Inches. Change your pixels per inch uh, into 72 dpi. Then enter those coordinates that we copied down from uh, Photoshop just now. That was uh, 272 uh, pixel width, hit enter, and 238 pixel height, and hit enter. When you have these values entered, go ahead and hit the OK button. This will place the view uh, port into your left view. Now what I need to do is go to Photoshop, hit Edit, Copy, and then go back to Alias and hit Edit, Paste Image. Make sure you choose Paste Image, not Paste. When you do that, and let me zoom in here so you can see it a little better, you get that front viewport image, same one you had uh, over here selected in Photoshop, into Alias. And that you can now use that as a background reference for creating geometry in your scene. Simply repeat this process for the top and the back views. Make sure that when you choose this new canvas that you select the correct viewport. Top is, by is the default, and then back will be the right view in this case. 